Hey everyone, Doug here. Um, I'm building myself a kind of do-it-yourself elevator here at home. I just bought this shell of a house and um, there's a bunch of videos online. I'll leave a link for my favorite one as to how to make these elevators. But anyway, I wanted it to be remote control and all the remote control videos I saw con converted the uh, button box here electronically. And, uh, you know, for me to learn that, it would take a weekend at least, and, you know, to really know what I was doing. And I, I didn't want to go through all that trouble. And I have some experience building remote control boats. So I decided to use a regular old servo and uh, just just make it, um, here's, the, here's the remote, and just, um, you know, have it push the buttons manually. Saved me a lot. It took, took me about an hour to do this. Um, so, uh, and no, I don't, the, the voice is still here in the box. I haven't even unboxed it because I'm not done uh, building the cage and all the other stuff that I'm going to need for the elevator. But um, anyway, uh, I somehow got interested in the remote control. Anyway, I got, I, I, I wanted to get the remote control thing out of the way, and I did. Um, so, um, I'm gonna. Here's the um, here's the remote that I bought. I'll show you exactly what I used for this. Uh, this is just a homemade power supply. Um, it does need a power supply, um, and you know, obviously, um, six volts is what uh, is standard. You know, remote control toy stuff, uh, which is what I'm using. Um, and. Um, uh, I've, I've, ordered, I've, I've ordered already, actually, a 6-volt convert, AC converter. I'll just use that. Um, that way I won't have to go through batteries. But in the meantime, I didn't have one, so I made the battery pack. Um, and uh, to get the servo onto here, I simply super glued it. It's got one of these on either end. Here's the servo raw uh, without, uh, without anything on it. And then here it is with the arm that I'm using. Um, and then here I put these two wheels um, on it. Now, now, when you order servos, they come with all that stuff. See, each servo comes with all well, this junk here. Um, and uh, <clears throat> so these are just ready-made parts. They come with the servo. I'll show you absolutely everything you need for this. I only use the one servo. Uh, I, this was way overkill. And then uh, I got... I had to get an extension wire. You only need one of these. That's, again, that's way overkill. I didn't know what I was going to need. And that's just for going from the power to the receiver. You don't need to get a separate receiver. It comes with the remote. I think this remote was 30 bucks or something. It was one of the cheaper ones. Um, and um, uh, you don't need to get any of the little doodads, the wheels, or the you know, the, the arms, they all come with the servos. Each servo comes with a pack of them. You'll have five of them. Um, and uh, if you get these, if you can find one servo for four bucks or five bucks somewhere, get it. Uh, that's all you're going to need. And um, uh, so this is how I did it mechanically. And it worked just fine. I think it'll work for a long time. I don't, you know, it's not a lot of stress on any of the parts. So you can see since the last video I've modified this a bit. I've added an extra wheel onto the touch arrangement and that way the the mechanism hits the buttons more centrally so that hopefully they'll last longer. To sum up a bit, I super glued the servo onto the button box, then I put a small wedge of plywood underneath it to stabilize it and you can see also that I wrapped some straps around to stabilize it. I don't think I'm even going to add epoxy. That super glue holds it to the button box like nobody's business. There are places where you can insert screws if you really want to bolt it down. I want to add that I'm not advertising for any of the parts that I've included in this or for Amazon, but I have shown you absolutely everything I needed to order to do this, and so I wish other people would do that sometimes just to make life a lot easier. 
So rather than recircuit your button box, um, if you don't know how to do that, this is a quick and easy, relatively easy fix so that you can have a remote controlled hoist for your elevator or any other project you want. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like it and subscribe if you like the video and be well and happy building.